Somebody smell like shit. <laughs> Somebody smell like shit. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Somebody smell like shit. <laughs> no. Somebody smell like shit. Hey, Chelsea fans, Chelsea fans, Chelsea fans. We got some news, you know what I'm saying? The Chelsea fans are in the mud. What a day it's been. I listen. Yeah, I listen. This one here, this one here hit like crap. Chelsea Football Club have pulled out the race to sign Elise. He is now about to sign for Bayern Munich for 45 million, 5 million in add ons and 140k less in wages than the ones he was asking for at Chelsea Football Club. These men are mudded. These look were talking like the deal was done. Why would he go United? Why would he go Newcastle? Why would he go Bayern? You know what I'm saying? These men are acting like, oh, well, the amount of excuses I was hearing, the amount of reasons that I was hearing why Elise should be going to Chelsea because of this exciting project. These men are miles off it. Absolutely miles off it. Transfer Kings. These men used to sign Fabregas and Pedro for banks. Now these men are getting binned off by Elise and all of a sudden these men are looking at who's this new, uh, 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 this, this you, this Kelly Rowland you that they just got um, the Brazil, they're doing up the Brazilian youth project thing as well. And then on top of that, they're still trying to go for Duran. I've got Chelsea fans trying to explain to me why Duran can be a good signing. The bar is in hell. But listen, let's get started. Let's talk about Elise. It is the breaking news from yesterday. Um, from Mr. Romano has just posted now as well the details uh, between the deal between him and his management and Bayern Munich, of course, in Crystal Palace for Elise. Uh, make sure you guys are smashing the like button. Let's get this one to, to 75 likes. Uh, and of course, make sure you subscribe. Thank you so much for 9.7K subs. Let's keep on heading on the straight road to 10K. Let's get to 9.8K first and foremost. But yeah, man, I've got a bone to pick with, with some of you Chelsea fans. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. You man talk too much. You man talk too much. When it comes to signings, you talk too much. Yeah? I had man like Chez. Man like Don, man like Lewis, talking like this deal's basically done. At HR, CFC Reaper, at Assad, chatting like this deal was done. I was hearing shit like, oh, his brother plays for Chelsea. They're going to hang the contract in front of him and say, you better sign for our club. And all this BS. These men are rubbed. These men are rubbed. And they don't even know it because they're using the same fucking copium. The same copium that's been getting through these last two years. You were 12th for the majority of last season. You've been 11th for the majority of the season just gone. And you, man, think you're only three players away from challenging? You, man, are deluded. You, man, are miles off it. Now, I'm told that Chelsea are going to sign another two attackers. But one of them's looking like it's going to be Duran. So, realistically, if we're talking about an attacker that really is going to make a difference for Chelsea, it's only going to be one. It's only going to be one. Now, Chelsea fans, they think they've got this project going on, that they're still the most, one of the most attractive, attractive clubs to go to. If Chelsea are one of the most attractive clubs, why on earth, why on earth was Elise asking for 360 bags, but he went to Bayern Munich for, two, for, 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 for 220 or some shit like that? Let me know. Let me know. Why is he going to Bayern on, on less wages? If the buyout clause was 60 M's, why on earth are Bayern Munich paying 45 and 5 on add-ons? He didn't want to go to you unless it was for astronomical wages. When I told you, man, and not even when I told you, man, when Matt Law reported that activating Elise's buyout could be very, very difficult due to teams not being in the Champions League, when he said Chelsea fall under that category, you, man, got sensitive. You got you got sensitive and saying it's not about champion, it's not about Champions League. It's not about Champions League. We'll offer players, we'll get the player. We're still Chelsea. All right, tear, tear. 
No, 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 that's not how it works. You are Conference League Chelsea. In fact, you're not even Conference League Chelsea because you still have to qualify for that. You still have to qualify for that. You, man, are miles off it and the delusion is insane. I never want to hear you, man, getting onto Arsenal fans again about overrated players because you, man, seem to think it's Poch tax 24-7. Yes, Poch is shit, but at the same time, the players are to blame. Mudrick, not good enough. Who else plays on the Sterling? Not good enough. Madweki, not good enough. Apparently, Palmer's going to be playing in the 10. Nkunku, we don't know if he's going to be fit. Jackson, not good enough. The whole back line, apart from Reese James and Gusto, they play the same position, so they both can't play. Not good enough. You man are miles off it if you think you are three players away on challenging for this title. There is no middle ground of you, man. I'm telling you right now, the fact that, and remember, I quote, I quote, I quote, when, when Crystal Palace offered him that new contract, when they offered Elise that new contract, it said at the bottom, it's up to the player what he wants to do. He can go to Newcastle, go to Chelsea, go to United, or he can go to Bayern Munich. And he's chosen Bayern Munich. I said Champions League was a massive factor, and you, man, thought you was too big for your boots, and that Champions League wouldn't matter because you're Chelsea Football Club. You, man, aren't the same club. You, man, aren't the same club at this moment in time. Yeah? You're finishing poorly in the Premier League, you're not winning trophies. It's the first time you've gone two years without a trophy. It might even happen again this year. You never know. And all I'm saying right now is that you, man, need to now start accepting the reality of where you, man, are and what you, man, attract. Yeah? I was hearing names like Oshiman and them, man, there. Now I'm hearing names like Durant. And what's worse, you, man, aren't even doubling down on the fact that the expectations aren't there no more. You're doubling down on some BS like, oh, yeah, Durant could work in terms of it. Fuck off, man. I need more. I need more. Always got so much to talk about when it comes to transfers, but you might never want to talk about the football. You never want to talk about the football, or road, road. You never want to talk about the football. Yeah? You man are mudded. You man are mudded. Yeah? This, I thought at least it was done. Man, we're talking like this still was done. A man got rejected. He chose Bayern Munich instead. Bayern Munich are trapped right now as well. It's crazy. Listen, man, let me know. Let me know if you think it's Chelsea walking away or let me know what you guys think about this sign. And obviously, at least it's a Bayern Munich. Pretty much here we go. Everything's pretty much getting finalised. Listen, man, it's going to be a very interesting window. I wonder who Chelsea go for next. If it's the Ran and that or a Modian guy, then uh, you man are in for a long, long season, man. Let's see who they go. Let's see who they look for instead. Or looks like it's mad away getting vibes. Let me know, guys. Anyway, listen, it's been another episode of Big Six Fans. Smash the like button. Make sure you subscribe. And yeah, man, Chelsea fans, hold that one. Just, just hold that one, all right?